Now, while these guys are making sure that your Battlefront 2 is all set up and ready to rock, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell me just a little bit. I was a huge fan of the first Battlefront. Excellent. So, uh, As millions were. Yeah, yeah, totally. So what's a little bit, what's the difference you guys got in this one? Well, obviously, Battlefront 2 uh, is coming out bigger and better. You know, we uh -huh. want to do things bigger and better than we did for the original Battlefront. Uh, with the original Battlefront, we had millions and millions of fans that gave us a lot of good feedback. Mm -hmm. They talked about things that they wanted to see. They talked about things that we wanted to do, and we had our own different des uh, design decisions. So we went back in there and we, you know, kind of reworked it a little bit and decided, okay, there are some things that would make a natural progression to how Battlefront should work. Right. Uh, one of those big things was space combat. You got to do space if you're talking about Star Wars. Everybody knows that, you know, Star Wars has epic space battles. We depict that beautifully in, in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, we wanted to throw in some Jedi, some playable Jedi, oh, wow. a huge bullet point. People want to get in there and play that as well. Then we had a nice single-player campaign that we wanted to show people. We wanted to tell a story of, of Vader's Legion, the 501st, as we call it. Uh, these are the guys that Vader had at his beck and call. Anytime that Vader went somewhere, these guys went with him. And then, of course, Episode 3. And I know, obviously, you're ready for Episode 3. Oh, yeah, Everybody's totally. ready for Episode 3. Dude, know? I got lightsabers it's, sitting it's over huge. there. Yeah. You, I'm sure you got somebody waiting in line for tickets right now. Yes. When you see this movie, you're going to know. It rocks. We've taken you know, more than a half dozen planets from Episode 3. We've taken weapons. We've taken vehicles. We've wow. taken characters, including villains. So all the favorites are going to be in there. So if you remember one thing about Battlefront 2, it's that you got to remember these four things about Battlefront 2. Space, Jedi, single player, and Episode Three. Right on. Now, uh, before we, before we get to the game, I wanted to ask you. I, I already played through uh, Revenge of the Sith. Excellent. So, I, I mean, I, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I couldn't it's help been it. Spoiled. Excellent. Oh yeah, totally. I had to do it. Yeah. The alternate ending. Yes. Super dope. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was well done. So, uh, so for the Battlefront Two, you got the the space battles. How does that work online in terms of people? And and we're talking we're talking we're gonna see the Xbox version hopefully today. Yeah. You get the oh, looks like they got it going. For the Xbox version, we're gonna be able to jump in there with uh, 24. I'm sorry, 32 players on Xbox. Whoa. 24 on PS2. 64 players on PS on PC. And we just announced this morning that we're doing a PSP version as well. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. So you... for space combat, you know, you got to do things. You got to homage to certain Star Wars attributes, and then you have to have your Battlefront core. Gotcha. What is Battlefront? Well, Battlefront is jumping in. It's doing the quick action infantry combat. It's jumping in and playing any way you want to do it. So how do you do that in space? Well, we have a variety of ways, and uh, hopefully we'll get to show you. All right, let's take a look. Let's see if we can scroll down there and get that business going. And while it loads up, um, do you, are you guys are you guys have any uh, FMV sequences in there? Any CG stuff? Certainly, um, we're not doing CG. Uh, we do have the opportunity with our new technology to play some movie clips along the way. Oh, really? Hopefully, we'll get to show you a little bit of that. Um, some yeah, of the episode in, three in stuff? real time. Maybe not episode three yet. <laughs> uh, that you know that obviously goes through George and his crew. Right. Uh, I was so surprised that you guys had so much in Revenge of the Sith. Oh yeah, I you was know, that blown was, away. That was the important part of that game. You yeah, know, we totally. had to get that game in there, and, and it's got to be the real movie. Yeah, it, they did a good job with that. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into uh, the battlefront here. Okay. And show you a little bit of space combat. Right on. They, I think you threw them off there while you were loading that. You see uh, your I'm little. I'm too quick. I'm too quick in the guns. <laughs> you guys got to keep up, baby. Yeah, that's right. So with this, what kind of vehicles we expect to see in the space combat? You got TIE Fighters, you got X-Wings? Well, we got the same four factions back. We have the Republic Clone Troopers, the CIS Battle Droids, the Rebels, and the Imperials. Right on. Every one of those factions is going to have a variety of vehicles. Each one of those vehicles does a specific thing. Your X-Wing is your basic fighter, you know, space fighter. Your TIE Fighter matches up with that X-Wing. We've got a TIE Bomber. I'm going to show you, give you a good example here. Okay. Um, inside of this hangar here, I've got my TIE Bomber. I've got my TIE Interceptor. I've got my TIE Fighter over there. You know, I've got a good variety of vehicles that I can choose from. If you're a big one, though, they're all taken off. Exactly. <laughs> That's part of my AI. They're getting out there. So I'm going to jump in this TIE Fighter, uh, this TIE Interceptor here and get out here and show you a little bit of space. Do the big arrows pointing to that one ship say, like, blow this one up? This is basically a new addition to Battlefront 2 is we've taken it away from not only just doing command posts, but we've also incorporated objective play gameplay. So my first objective is to blow up this Carillion Cruiser here which was made famous by Princess Leia in episode yeah. four, of course. But I'm out here in space, and I can do things. You know, I've got my barrel rolls I can do. I can do my Immelman roll here. I can boost. I can do all sorts of different things. I can dogfight for as long as I want out here. So in true Battlefront fashion, we've got the player out in space playing any way they want to play. Dude, that's awesome. So, like, so like, so what happens, though? Like, do you see, uh, I mean, 
obviously there's dudes flying all over the stuff. I mean, can you accidentally fly into one of your, your other homies and oh, yeah. like get blown up? Oh yeah, with a, you know, with your Xbox headset, your PS2 headset, whatever you got, you got to be aware of where your teammates are at. So and you can also get out there and you know talk your trash to your uh, enemy as well. So 16 people on one team, 16 people on another for the Xbox. You got it. That's crazy. Yep. So what does that look like when you got everybody on there and everybody's yelling through the headset and saying, hey, yo, let's go over here and do this? Well, there's a variety of things you can do in space. You know, as I'm going to show you right here, I don't always have to just go out there and fly around in space. I could, you know, stay on my hangar. I could defend my hangar. This is the first game where you're going to fly, fly around not only in space, as nobody else can do it, but you can jump out inside an enemy hangar here. I'm taking over this area. I'm the new boss in town. I've got these rebels on the run. I can go inside. I can even go inside this little area here and take over their own turrets and use their own turrets against them. Okay. Uh, so now not only am I inside their hangar, I flew across this vastness of space, but I'm actually in their own kitchen doing dirty work here. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, you guys look like you pulled out all the stops then. Absolutely. There's no, no holds barred in Battlefront 2. Now, I don't know if it's possible you'd be able to show me what happens when you're trying to run with a Jedi. In this Absolutely. Right Let's on. go ahead and jump out of space, and I'll take you to something cool. Okay. So while that's happening, um, what, when can we expect this? I saw the Fall 2005 right fall there. Fall 2005, we're coming out on the PS2, the Xbox, and the PSP. Right on. Man. And as well as PC, of course. What, what, can you give me any insight into the PSP thing at all? Like how well, many the people? PSP is a unique experience. I mean, obviously, people want to have that quick action. They get into the game right away. It's a handheld. Uh, we will be Wi-Fi compatible. We'll be able to play with other players, you know, sitting around your dinner table, sitting in your library. Do your schoolwork, though, kids. <laughs> That's know, awesome. Doing that kind of thing. That's awesome. Let's so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can jump into a little bit All right. of... Uh, and I don't think you have to worry there. I think cool. that, yeah, you can see that the, those bottom monitors are just uh, yep. showing that color. So you can see the top ones are all good. Uh, so infantry controller. So you're going to show us the infantry action when you Absolutely. run off Absolutely. One of the great things about Star Wars is you're never out of material. There's always another battle that you can portray. One of the most famous battles, of course, is aboard Princess's Le Princess Leia's Tanta 4 immediately at the beginning of Episode 4. So as you can see here, we've spliced in some movie footage. Right on. And this is the first time that anybody's really done a LucasArts game with the Tanta 4 depicted like this. So here I am now. I can choose from any one of my six characters. In Battlefront 1, we had five. We've actually added a new, a new class of character, which is the officer class. Right on. So I can choose this officer now. He's got some different attributes, just like every other character does. And I'm aboard the Tandem 4. So one of the things we added, of course, is, is single-player objectives. Things like you know, blowing up a certain objective, taking an escort from a certain place. But we've also kept our core roots of Battlefront action, which is fast-paced infantry, close quarters, Get in there, you know, take over a CP or two, blow some guys up, die a couple times, who cares, get right back in. All right. Now, when do, you, when do we get to see Vader come We're going to get there in <laughs> un momentito. <laughs> I come, I'm a little impatient when it comes to okay. my, my Darth Vader. It's, so, it's one of those things, you know, this is kind of why we put the player at the forefront of the single player experience. In Battlefront 1, we had some feedback where players felt like they could flip a coin to decide who was going to win the battle really? in single player. What we've done now is we put the player on the forefront. So if I go ahead and I complete this objective here, I'm going to get to play as Vader, and he's going to come out only because I completed this objective. Right so on. it's not until the player gets out there and really does the dirty work in the single player campaign that you get rewarded. Do you so guys here we go. Oh, right on. I don't think there's very many scenes in very many movies that are better than I mean, that. Come on, what's better than that right there, huh? Yeah. So Vader so. comes in here, and the way we've done single-player Jedi and the whole hero experience is basically based around a reward system. You know, people are going to ask us, how do, you, how do you play as a Jedi? How are you going to get to, you know, balance that type of thing? Well, we've gone ahead and added, at the bottom of the screen there, you can see a lightsaber depicted. That's basically my hero, my Darth Vader's life bar, if you will. The more positive things I do on the battlefield, the longer I can use him. I gotcha. The more negative things I do, if I were just to cower in a corner, which Darth Vader would never do, right. then the shorter that life bar is going to get. So I got to complete objectives. I got to kill the bad guys. I got to do things that help my team throughout the single player experience, complete objectives, and progress on. And as you can see, Darth Vader is Darth Vader. He's this menacing guy. He's you know? just stomping he's, through there. He's got force choke, as you saw right there. He, yeah. can, he can swing his lightsaber and knock people out. He can take over command posts. He can drive vehicles. He can complete objectives. 
He can Jedi sprint, Jedi jump, wow. all sorts of attributes. Now, when you're playing multiplayer, like, is it one guy that gets to play Vader? Is it multiple people? How does that work? For multiplayer, it's going to be basically a host option. However okay. the host wants to set up the game, it's totally up to their discretion. If they want to set it up where the guy who they think is doing the weakest, who's doing the worst, who's got no kills, when that hero becomes available, they'll give that hero to him. I got gotcha. And it's all set up before the game. Maybe it's set up by the guy who gets the most kills. I got gotcha. you. And the heroes will be in, in multiplayer much the same way. The better things you do out there, the longer they last. I got gotcha. you. Now, do the heroes that we had in the first game, do they exist at all anymore in terms of having it so they're just like, running alongside of you? Well, in that sense, we've actually taken it away from the AI and, and put it, it in the player's hands. I got hands. you. So, yes, you're going to see a lot of the same characters you saw in the original Battlefront, but we've actually taken it up about 10 or 20 or a million notches, if That's you will. That's so cool. So, aside from Vader, who else do we got? Uh, I'm not allowed to really oh, dis wow. disclose, uh, <laughs> disclose all of those guys, but I will show you one other guy. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can get in there and show you some Episode 3 content. Right on. The ones that we're showing you today are Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, cool. Right on. Thank you so much. Now, while this, is, while this is loading up... Uh, and you're going to show us the episode three. Is it, we're going to see episode three right now? Or are you going to Not go the to, movie, but oh. of course the content of episode three. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, one of the great things about you know Star Wars and, and the movie coming out is that we have so many things we can draw from uh, from this movie. There are so many great battles in it. Uh, obviously, one of the great things we've taken is these clone skins here. Right. We've updated the clone troopers so that they're depicted directly from the movie. All of their face, all of their gear. Uh, you'll see a ton of their weapons in there as well. Here's the commando class that you see. Uh, that I talked about earlier for the Imperial. This is the clone version of him. That's awesome. And then one of the great things that we added that we got a lot of feedback on was we added a sprint feature for players on the ground. And it also works in vehicles. Players can sprint from side, you know, around the area. They can even do an, uh, a funny little rolls, you know, jumping and, and, and ducking and dodging. This guy's got his great big chain gun going on. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to try and complete my first objective, okay. which is to give my troopers a little bit of uh, area, a little breathing room by taking over this command post. Uh-oh. Battle droid. The ever-menacing battle droid. <laughs> He's no match for me. Now you're just waiting to take it over? Right. I can call over my buddies if I wanted to. I could use my squad commands to call them over. As I take this over, it's going to unlock an Episode 3 vehicle for us. Right on. So different areas that you progress through the battlefield will unlock different things. Maybe one, you know, it'll unlock a hero. Right here we've got ourselves the ATRT. Oh, wow. He's got his little boost. He's much more of an anti-infantry type of guy. I remember cutting a few of those up in Revenge of the Sith. Absolutely. So let's see if we can jump out of here and uh, progress down the highway and try and take over this uh, last CP to get ourselves a look at Obi-Wan. <coughs> Look at you just motor through there. I'm running, baby. I got to get down here. All over my boys here. Dude, come help me. You, you are like the best live demo guy I've ever Thank seen you, in all honesty. I've been doing it all my life. <laughs> did you? So you worked on Battlefront? The I did. I was a lead tester on the original Battlefront. Coming back for a, a second tour here. Right on. So you can see I called over my squad command, uh, my guy over here. I've taken over this command post. This gives me an opportunity to quickly jump in and play as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, wow. So as you'll see, Obi-Wan's a much different Jedi than your Darth Vader. He's got this sprint. He can do all sorts of, you know, he's got an aerial move. He moves a lot faster. He moves like you would want Obi-Wan to move. Right. He's got different animations, different context. And if we got time, I'd love to show you one more final buzz. You know, I think for you, I'm going to give you the awesome. time. He's also got a different uh, force power. He's got force pull. Every Jedi or hero in this game is going to have a different attribute. There goes Obi-Wan. That's all right. As you see here, Obi-Wan leaves the battlefield gracefully. Much like in Star Wars, you don't want to break continuity by having somebody die who's not supposed to die unless right. they're in the middle of the battle. So as Obi-Wan takes off, you know, it gives us an opportunity to go back and play it with another character, take over a command post with another character, and maybe I'll be able to, you know, uh, unlock a different hero later on or something. Okay. So as I go back down here, let's see if I can uh, get this last command post and get my uh, my worst feared enemy out. I have nightmares about this next guy. Oh. It's just... It's just I'm not going to say it. Well, as you can imagine, in Episode 3 content, we have, you know, not only new characters, new skins, new vehicles, new planets... But, of course, we've also got Episode 3 villains. Is this, is this the general? You're going to see the big bad boy himself, <laughs> General Grievous. That's awesome. So General Grievous now becomes an objective for me. 
I can't win this level until General Grievous is off this battlefield because he's going to wipe out my guys. So let's see if I can track him down. You can see him. Where'd he go? He might have left the battlefield already. My clone troopers got him, which is awesome. So now I've got, I've cleared the area out here for these Republic gunships to come in. They can take out these little uh, AA turrets on the side here. My guys can progress up the battlefield and take over. Right on. So that's a little bit of taste of the space combat, some single player objective stuff. Lots of Jedi, some good stuff there. That's awesome. And, of course, some Episode 3 stuff. Right on. Thank you so much for coming Absolutely, by, Casey. Man. Really appreciate it.